This is Kingston Road, Logan City, a major road that crosses over what seems to be an insignificant and utterly dirty creek. Like many, I've driven to work every day over this creek for years without giving it a second thought, until one day I decided to take a closer look and I hiked the entire creek line from start to finish. And what I discovered absolutely blew me away. This 35 km creek system proved to be one of my most interesting explorations yet and all in my own backyard. This is the journey of Scrubby Creek. Ready for action. Ready for love. Love of hiking in suburbia. So I'm not getting a Uber ride today. I'm getting a ride from my wonderful wife. And she's going to be dropping me off down at Berenba Wetlands. And which is not really that far at all. She's going to be on her way somewhere else. And the beauty of doing this urban hike and exploring Scrubby Creek is that it's so close. Um, even if I have a gutful today, I'll be able to simply walk home or run home. So that's the beauty of exploring your backyard. Okay, just gonna get my bag. All right, have fun shopping. See ya. All right. Okay. Let's go. Sort of serene and peaceful spot here. From what I've learnt, was in the 1960s to the 1990s, there was sand mining going along here. And so as a result, this is where it took place. Until there was uh, basically these big open pits, which they have filled with water and made into a really nice ecosystem. But this is where Scrubby flows into and it's going to go and deviate all the way into other pools and we're going to follow that and check it out now there you go and so over here at the parklands there's a lot of these little offshoots that you can come a bit closer to the water's edge and sit and relax. What we're gonna do is head up over to the walkway bridge just over there, and we're gonna start our journey following Scrubby. So this is it. So we're gonna be continuing straight up there. Maybe on the left-hand side, I might stay. Or the right, we'll see. Somewhere there, we're gonna start to disappear in and navigate our way down the creek line and we're going to go check that out so let's do a flyover of our route today and take a closer look at what we are going to cover we'll be starting off at berenbar wetlands which is made up of many lagoon systems man-made lagoon systems from back in the days when they were doing sand mining here we're going to punch on from a big major bridge that's at these wetlands and this will take us up behind DeMeo Park. I really enjoyed this section and behind DeMeo Park is what looks to me like some rocky river rapids. I then pushed on through and crossed over the first street which is 2nd Avenue at Marsden and then we come into a really difficult patch. It goes behind what I believe are some Asian farmers paddocks. Uh, he's got some kind of a dodgy pump set up in Scrubby Creek. This is a really tough trek. We crossed over 3rd Avenue, went underneath the bridge there. We then go up probably my most favourite stretch of Scrubby Creek, which runs alongside the Logan Motorway. And there's so many logs to cross over. There's this amazing tree that's got this rubber tyre swing off it and this spectacular hidden secret beach. We'll continue up and come across this amazing swimming hole and also this 
park bench that looks out over the lagoon systems of JJ Smith Park here at Marsden. And this is where we'll be wrapping up today's adventure. This journey was an absolute blast for me, especially the hidden secret beach I came across. So strap yourselves in and let's hit the trails. Here's another sign that talks about the Scrubby Creek Trail, which is awesome. It says we are located right here. So my plan will be now to walk beside the bridge just over here, take an offshoot. Let's get off the tourist path and get onto what I enjoy best. Walking through spider webs. <laughs> that was a big one I just went through. I want to make my way down there. You'll see here the vegetation is long grass. There's a game trail. And there's all these paper barks growing here in what you could call the flats. There's always a bit of a eeriness, isn't there? When you're walking amongst, I don't know, this type of vegetation and trees. There's just something about it that seems otherworldly. Someone's gone swimming here. <laughs> a towel rock with the towel actually on it. And as we can see, this is also a great place just to come and have your Maccas and just leave your crap all around. And again, what is with the McDonald's? There's more McDonald's rubbish here. I mean, for crying out loud, the Mayo Park is coming up into my sights just a little bit further up there. What I am really enjoying here though, you can see right up on the edge of the bank here, there's a nice, I don't know, dirt track to follow. This actually makes it quite pleasant as, you know, you want to come out here and just want to get away from the park a little bit, right beside it but you're just finding this dirt track. People often come here and just sit and relax and leave their McDonald's rubbish all around. And just around here to my left side is Demato Park. There's a bunch of people in there. And here I am walking this dirt track right beside them all, almost as if I'm in my own little national park and just enjoying it all, the trails all to myself. This is actually a really nice part of Scrubby here. The only thing disturbing this is all the kids that are yelling in the park just beside me there. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, look at this. Oh, yes. Now, I like this. I mean, this, this is just pleasant, but just the way that they've done a bit of a rise in this canal made the water sort of pull up a little bit and then flow over the rocks with a little bit more speed. That's cool. If anyone needs a boot, there's a big log and I feel the need, the need to cross the log. So there's that big drain that uh, we came over the top of. And here we're seeing the usual 
suspects for scrubby and that is a big rubber tire. It looks like a big bamboo. The way it's growing is it's coming out and stretching horizontally up and over. There's a lot of spider webs, so I'm just sort of breaking them. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, this is improving now. So it's very pretty, isn't it? There's lots of bamboo growing here. Some kind of a pump, I don't know. All right, scrubby, that was an interesting stretch. I tell you what, this is thick as here. Thick and unpleasant. Oh yes. Okay, made it. So here we are, underneath Third Avenue at Marsden. If you have a look over here, Scrubby Creek flows down beautifully actually, it's really nice. Okay, there goes a runner. There's a sign just up here, Scrubby Creek. Here we are now, and we're going to be going all the way up here to Bigger Road. We'll then bring it on through to JJ Smith Park over here and up to the Marsden Library, at which point I'm gonna be running home. So I'm just looking for a bit of a decent spot where I can go down and just explore. Let's just pick this little track here. Oh, I think I hit the jackpot. There's a log to cross. I mean, I've been saying that all along, this is like a whole other world within our world, isn't it? All these years where I've, I've been running along this creek, I've always run up there, up on that side. Never have I taken the time to come down and actually have a look at the creek itself. Here's one of these bollards. Foliage or the vegetation now changes to ferns growing. We've got the creek stand here with a few bits and fragments of rubbish. You can never get too old for for that stuff. Never. to a lovely little quiet spot again where you can have your little cup of tea have your Tim Tam with your coffee bring the kids have I said that enough times already <laughs> um, but honestly it is you come across these quiet little spots here along the creek line and they just feel pleasant like look right there And the problem is, it's inaccessible. You can't get to it easily with the kiddies and the grandparents. So, I'm sorry to say, it's all mine. All right, the spiders are starting to get bigger around here. Here we see one of these golden orb weavers. I'm just really enjoying this. This is such a beautiful stretch to come and explore. God, it's just amazing. 
so many logs to cross. There's a boardwalk up over there. <sighs> That's better. Ooh. Check it out, there's a little pool here and there's a rubber tire that's been tied on a rope. And this is a nice little swimming hole. That's if you want to swim in Scrubby Creek. <laughs> However, you gotta say, you gotta admit, this tree is actually really nice and pleasant. This is just fantastic that I'm able to walk here at this time compared to it being flooded. A fridge. Oh, it's muddy here. This is swampland. So the wildlife here, the wallabies, some little prints. Unless if it's a yowie print. And there we have two shopping trolleys that their final resting home here at Scrubby Creek. Here's a nice little sandy stretch. Look at this. This is a real beach. This is a beautiful little section here. Wow. Just a nice pleasant little stretch. Footpaths just up there. Come down to Scrubby Creek Beach. That's what it is. It's just really, really pleasant. What a find. What a find, the beach. So we're almost coming to the end of today's little journey. This culminates at the, I think it's called the JJ Smith Park at Marsden, where Scrubby flows on into a couple of larger man-made pools due to sand mining over near at the back of Bigger Road. And you can see there in the distance, there's a green bridge, which we're gonna cross over very shortly. But before we do, we're gonna go to a little small swimming hole over here. I've seen some kids here over the years swim and jump and have some fun and we'll go check it out. And here you can see the local hangout. And You've got a nice comfy chair right here as you come and enjoy a little swim with your kids. This is actually pretty neat here. You actually do have an amazing view here of the lagoon. And if you want an even better view, this park bench. What a beautiful spot of Scrubby Creek as it comes into the third of these large lagoons down here at JJ Smith Park. This is just really pleasant. It's just such a nice, nice area at Marsden of all places. So I hope you've enjoyed today's stretch. For me, it's fascinating. It's another world in our world. So that's it. Catch you on the next one.